Ireland is restarting preparations for a no-deal Brexit, with an insider admitting to growing levels of pessimism about whether a deal can be struck by the end of the year, a prospect which analysts fear would cost the country €1 billion. Euros. Foreign Minister Simon Coveney, Taisha Leo Varadkar's deputy, will today brief the cabinet on the situation. Speaking about the UK-EU negotiations, a source told the Irish Times, we've had three rounds. They haven't gone well. Mr. Coveney will present two alternative scenarios, the first envisaging a bare-bones free trade agreement which includes zero tariffs and zero quotas on goods, including fish, and the second whereby no deal is reached, in which case the UK will leave at the end of the transition period on December 31st. He is expected to present a gloomy assessment, telling ministers talks in Brussels between UK negotiator David Frost and the EU's Michel Barnier show little sign of progress. With three rounds of talks now completed, the fourth round is due to begin next week, with Prime Minister Boris Johnson himself due to fly out to Brussels to get a sense of where they are headed. Mr. Coveney will also tell them there is little prospect of the UK asking for an extension to the transition period, with Mr. Frost ruling such a move out earlier this week. Irish ministers will be asked to back the drafting of new Brexit legislation preparing Ireland for a no-deal situation, although it is unlikely to be presented to the Dale, Ireland's main legislature, before the autumn. They will also be warned of the potentially devastating impact on the country's economy as no deal can be reached, in which case Irish agri-food exports to the UK are likely to be clobbered to the tune of €1 billion Euros in tariffs. At the same time Mr Coveney will tell them preparations at ports and airports must to be stepped up as Ireland begins to scale back the coronavirus lockdown. Speaking earlier this month, Mr Coveney was similarly downbeat. He told RTE, progress has not been good in the couple of rounds of negotiations we've had. 